What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is part one of a video series where I'm showing how to use the Raspberry Pi Pico W as a soft access point. And this is also called AP mode. Now for those of you guys who are new using the Raspberry Pi Pico W, this is maybe not something you heard of, but AP, mo AP mode is a configuration of your Raspberry Pi Pico W where you essentially create its own Wi-Fi network similar to our routers that we have uh, for the internet. So this is something I found out recently and I thought it was pretty cool because this can have really powerful implications in sharing information between devices without having access to the global internet. So imagine you want to transfer information between devices or you want to host a web server without the, the internet, the actual internet that you use on your computer, you can actually set up a Wi-Fi network on your Raspberry Pi Pico W very easily in MicroPython to do this. And you can have up to five devices connected to this Wi-Fi network. And so we can create servers or web servers on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and connect to them. So by the end of this video, we will be able to connect with our phone or our laptop to a Wi-Fi uh, server on our Raspberry Pi Pico W that's separate from the internet that you have from your house that you're using right now to watch this video. And in part two, what we'll eventually be doing is we'll be using this uh, configuration to send information between different Raspberry Pi Pico Ws across this Wi-Fi network without needing access to the global internet. So it has pretty powerful implications and I thought it was pretty cool. And I just learned about it and I thought I'd walk you guys through it in this video. So enough being said, we're just gonna jump into it straight into the MicroPython code to do this. So the only thing you need is to plug your Raspberry Pi Pico W into your computer. You don't even need Wi-Fi to do this. So you just have to plug this into your computer and we will jump into the MicroPython environment. Okay, so jumping into the MicroPython code, I'm just using Thani to code in MicroPython, but really you can use any environment you want, whether that is uh, PyCharm, VS Code, and so on. So the first step we have here is we wanna set up our imports for network time and socket. And we wanna define the web page. I just have this web page function that shows me the, the, the web page HTML here. So you can write whatever you want for the web page. There's just a very simple web page where we would do the stereotypical hello world and we're just showing the user hello world. And so we're just gonna return that in HTML. So if this all works in the end, we should be able to visit a web page on the, the base URL of the, of the server and we should be able to see hello world, okay? Now next thing we have here is we define AP mode, which is the the majority of the, the code we wanna focus on here. And in this AP mode, what we're passing into this function is a, a name and a password. So SSID would be the name of the internet you want to establish. So this can be any name you want because you're creating this Wi-Fi network from scratch essentially. So I'm just putting the name as name and password as password. So I'm very creative as you could see. And that'll be the name and password of our Wi-Fi network on our Raspberry Pi Pico W. But you really, you could do whatever you want. And you can even add layers of security, so that would be considered an insecure network. But later on, um, once you get into more advanced stuff, you can add security to the network and so on if you really uh, enjoy using AP mode. So in order to activate AP mode, it's very simple as well. We just use the network library that we imported, .wlan, and we do network.apif, and we set up the config based on the, the password and the, the name of the, the internet or the Wi-Fi that we defined. And then we activate it with uh, dot active true. And then we have this little loop here, just in case there's a pause. We say, well, AP active equals false. We just wait. So if you have some weird issue that may loop forever, so that you may notice that, but I haven't noticed that yet. And next thing we do is we print this and we print the IP address of our router there. So we could see that that should be the first one based on what the pattern I've seen is AP dot if config zero that'll give us the IP address so we can connect to that from our computer or phone. And finally, we just do a simple client socket setup here. So I'm not gonna get into that too much because there's a bunch of videos on YouTube of setting up client server sockets and MicroPython with Raspberry Pi Pico W. But pretty much what this client server socket allows us to do is it allows us to get information from the web server. So it's gonna um, get a request and it's gonna send a response as a web page. And that web page is the HTML we defined and then also another thing here is we're only listening to five items because we're only allowed five connections in AP mode. That is, that is the maximum for the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So you're only allowed five devices to connect to the Raspberry Pi Pico W in AP mode. And finally, once we run this, it's just going to um, start running the Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to that new Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and run this. Hopefully no issues from the beginning. 
give that a sec. Okay, so it says my IP address is there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to look for the, the Wi-Fi network. So as you can see, actually, it can't find, actually, can it find the name? Unless I'm blind here. Okay, there it is, name. So I noticed in some cases, at least the first time I was doing this, it couldn't find my Wi-Fi network. And I was wondering why maybe there's something wrong with my Raspberry Pi Pico W. But I did a power cycle to my Raspberry Pi Pico W. And for those of you guys who don't know what a power cycle is, it's turning off and on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. But when you do it, you want to make sure you turn it off for at least 10 seconds to allow all the electronics to reset. And that's technically what a power cycle is. So if you just plug in and out, that's not really a power cycle. So if you don't see the Wi-Fi network and your code is running, you may want to power cycle your Raspberry Pi Pico W. And that worked for me the first time. So we found name here. And so I'm just gonna type in the password. It jumped to my other screen, so I'm just gonna type password. So, you know, just type in your password as you would any other internet. Maybe internet is the wrong term here because internet is the global internet. We should say Wi-Fi. Okay, so give it a moment to connect there. We could see we're connected to name. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to open a, a browser here. Give me a sec, working on multiple screens. So I'm just gonna open a browser right here and we're just going to connect to this and it should say, hello world. So it's not HTTPS protocol. I believe it's just HTTP protocol. And it is, so I connected it before as you could see. And so we should get hello world. So that is the very basics of how we can use AP mode to access the to access information on the Raspberry Pi Pico W without any internet connection from your uh, Wi-Fi in your house. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that does have great implications to what you can do in terms of sending information without actual Wi-Fi, and you can use other Pico Ws to send information between them, which we'll get to in the part two of the next tutorial in this video series. So I just wanna say, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I also have a donate link down below. So if you really like the video, you can donate to the channel, that would be awesome. Let me, let me know what you wanna see in the comment section. As always guys, stay tuned and thanks for watching, take it easy.